What is up you guys, Matt here, Mr. Matt Darnell, and here in this video I will be showing you guys how you can mod Gears of War 2 multiplayer online. You can mod your level, uh, your stats, what characters you have unlocked, and all that good stuff. So you're going to want to make sure that you have your profile on your flash drive and load up Gears of War 2. Gears of War 2 is loaded up, want to make sure that we select our memory unit, your flash drive. <coughs> if you haven't already, plug up your flash drive to your Xbox and make sure you select that for the Gears of War 2. Next, just go to multiplayer and make sure what level you are, in this case I'm level 1, uh, you don't have to play any games, just load up the game. Go to multiplayer, check your level, and go to the dashboard. And we should be done here on the Xbox. Alright, now that we are back on the dashboard here, we want to go over to the settings and go to system. Go to storage. And you want to make sure your profile is on the flash drive. If not, go ahead and move the profile to the flash drive. Very easy to do. Now that we have that done, just go back to the dashboard once again. And you're going to want to sign out of your account. <coughs> make sure that you're signed out. Make sure that your flash drive is done transferring files. And I will see you on the desktop. Alright guys, now that we are on the desktop, you're going to want to download this file, which will be in the description, along with Horizon. I already have showed you guys how to download Horizon in my previous videos. Link will be in the description for that as well. Once we download this file here, we just want to extract it with 7-zip. And once we're done extracting it, you can just uh, delete it. And you'll get a folder like this right here you'll get this folder here open up this folder and open up Gears of War 2 GPD editor <coughs> so now that we have this up this is made by Philly Master as you can see uh, credits go to him for this uh, tool here and we are done with our Explorer there we just keep this window open right here and we want to load up Horizon Make sure your flash drive is plugged into your computer. As you can see there, we're going to go to our Gamer Profiles. Under Gamer Profiles right here, we're just going to double click on our profile. And we're going to go to Contents. Under Contents, you're going to look for this file. It will be named 4D53082D.gpd. So we just want to make sure we have this file here, right click it, and click extract. Now you want to extract it to the desktop, or a place where you can find it, and click save. You'll get file extracted successfully, and we'll just drag Horizon off to the side here. Now in our Gears of War 2 GPD editor, go to file, open, go to your desktop, or whichever folder you save that in, open this file right here. <clears throat> our GPD file and as you can see we'll change it to say rank 75 and unlockables here go ahead and un unlock all of them we can change it to rank 100 really does not matter under campaign you'll see all these collectibles here we'll just select all of them Just a fair warning, uh, you 
can get banned for this. However, being Gears of War 2 released in 2008, and with it being 2015, uh, considering that there are still thousands playing Gears of War 2, it is a chance that you could get banned. However, I've had friends running this mod for years and years, and they have yet to be banned. So, on the answer of getting banned, yes, you could get banned. Yes, you could get flagged for a ban. For a ban, however, that is highly unlikely, considering that this game was released in 2008. However, there are still a lot of people who play Gears of War 2. Under Achievements, right here, you'll see these. Just select all of them. If you want to, you don't have to. Simple as that. And it looks like we are done there. We have everything unlocked and selected. And you want to go to File and Save. It's going to save our GPD data. <coughs> click OK and we can exit out of this. Now right here, we are going to want to close this out. Open this up right here. Click on Contents right here. Click Replace. And we're going to replace it with this one right here on our desktop. Make sure you replace the correct one that we extracted with this one. File replace successfully and we're going to save, rehash, and resign. Very important you get this message. Very important you do that. And we're going to close it out there. Now we should be done here on the desktop. I will see you guys back on the Xbox, uh, show you guys that this actually does work on Gears of War 2, and yes, it does work online. Alright, now that we are back on the Xbox, just go ahead, make sure you're signed in, make sure you're loading your profile from the flash drive, and go ahead and load up Gears of War 2. Now that we are in Gears of War 2, you will see that we will be unlocking about three achievements. Not many, but hey, it's free gamer score. You can't complain. It'll unlock the achievements on levels 1 through 25. It won't go any further than that. I do not know why. This is how you tell if someone has glitched or not, apparently, is if they have the achievements or not. Now we just want to go down to our multiplayer here. And we're going to wait for multiplayer to load. And as you can see, I am level 100. And I will have all the characters unlocked. Yep, as you can see, we've unlocked three achievements. Total of about 100 gamer score. About. <coughs> and that will be it. Now we can just return to the main menu and you are all set to go online with your brand new level 100 account or any other level you want and you should have all those characters unlocked. The achievements will unlock as you do those but it is as simple as that guys. Thanks for watching guys. I will have a Gears of War 3 modding video up pretty soon. Do not know when I'll have that up as well as a judgment video up soon. Until next time guys I will see you later. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Go ahead and check out my website, mrmattdarnell.com.